turmoil. Slaves now on the three thousand five hundred twenty-four. You're from the heat, 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 Slaves now on board and then gets spoken over the top of. I don't think that's meant to happen. I don't really know what's going on there. That's a bit of a weird audio thing. But anyway, hi everybody and welcome back to Rayman Revolution. In the last episode we reached the third area of the front, the uh, Rainbow Creek, and we found a, a laser door that requires us to shut off two generators in order to get through it and that's how we're going to access the third mask. So in today's episode we're heading to the precipice where we're going to find one of the generators, hopefully. And uh, we've got this uh, this section at the start here which is quite similar to the bayou, where we're being pursued by one of the uh, one of the warships and you've got a bunch of uh, crumbling bridges. And uh, this is actually quite a lot of the level. This is just running along narrow bridges through this canyon, being pursued and being shot at by cannonballs. It's uh, quite an iconic section, um, along with the music as well. It's uh, relatively upbeat for what's happening right now. Oh! Didn't realise there was a pirate up there. God, he's very rapid fire shooting. I don't, I'm sure pirates don't normally shoot that much. They usually take one shot at a time, but uh, I guess that was a special circumstance because we were we were running. Uh, the warship doesn't only shoot cannonballs. I think it's supposed to shoot something else. I don't know if we're meant to have seen that yet. Maybe heading up here. Yes, there it is. So uh, yeah, the uh, warship can sometimes uh, spawn in shells which run in the opposite direction to you and try and collide with you. Oh, I see you cage up there. I want you. I need you. I want you. Oops, I missed the red lamp. Doesn't. Don't think it. Don't think it really matters. Okay, got rid of the shells. Doesn't give you an awful lot of time to react to the uh, to the shells. This is a very action-packed sequence, uh, similar to the bayou. Well, the bayou was less uh, running along narrow bridges. I mean, there were crumbling bridges in the bayou, but it wasn't this uh, action-packed. Need to get on top of the. Uh, the netting there. Oh, I need to hit this cage before going in. Get a wonky angle on that. Okay, so on to the second section. Now, I've noticed that in other versions of the game, uh, as we go through that door there, the camera usually pans out and reveals the buildings in the shape of a skull and crossbones, which is a nice, nice touch because we're up against pirates, obviously. But not in this version. I don't know why it's just a generic building in this version. It's normally a uh, skull and crossbones, I swear. Uh, whatever. Just another version difference for today. Let's uh, glide on down. Very pretty in here. Got the light peeking through the cave cave roof. And uh, the warship is just outside, shooting in through through the holes in the wall. Oh. Okay, so yeah, uh, if the cannonball shoots the bit of the bridge that you're already standing on, um, it will propel Rayman into the air, like you'll do a jump uh, without hitting the jump button. Just keep that in mind, because there might be some situa situations later on where that screws us over in some way. I'm sure it will. Also, we've got these hanging things. I'm sure you can skip some of these by uh, uh, long jumping and hovering and grabbing onto it a bit later. Possibly. I'm sure there are some I've been able to do that with. Uh, are there supposed to be things shooting at me? Because it's been a bit quiet for a while now. Some of that noticed. Okay, got through these dangly things. Where's the warship gone? He's just stopped caring, by the looks of things. Anyway, uh, hover down. Uh, oh, doesn't actually matter if I land on that ledge or not, because uh, we now have to hover all the way down. Uh, it picks up that green lum automatically, so it sets a checkpoint for you. Uh, but you're far above where the green lum is, so make sure you pick up some of the yellow lums above the green lum in case you fall. It's a bit... Uh, bit deceptive this section like you, you can't just descend straight down you need to follow the trail of lums if you descend straight down then Rayman just enters a freefall animation and uh, you, you just uh, lose, lose some life but you have to hover following the trail of lums which makes revisiting this level a bit difficult if you do miss anything because the yellow lums won't be here because you've already collected them that's a little bit strange, also the warship just spawns in there. Oh, hello. 
can hit that for some reason. It was on a weird level. Okay, I guess I can descend a bit quicker now. Uh, I'll just hit me, whatever. He, he got too close before I could shoot him. Bomb there. Uh, something that I pointed out, I think, last episode, where I was talking about the different different pirates and the different colours. Um, in some versions of the game, some pirates shoot those flying bombs at you, but not all versions, and uh, there's no pirates like that in this version, so... Uh, yeah, that's just something that I think... Was it in the PS1 version? With the... With the flying bomb pirates? Oh god, so many shells right now. Okay, we'll move to the end of this section. Head on through the cave, and now we have a little pirate ambush, I do recall. Okay. Zoom in on that door for some reason. That door must be important for a split second. Yep, here is a pirate ambush. Head down here, and there's quite a good number of them. I should have charged up a shot there. I don't know why I didn't. Uh, i got two red pirates, which is quite difficult to deal with in close proximity. We've also got a warship overhead shooting cannibals at us still, like, still pursuing us from the previous section. So, yeah, Ooh, I got a bit too close there, apparently. Okay, uh, don't really need to use charge shots now. Uh, using regular shots is much quicker. And only one more pirate left. In other versions, there would be a ninja pirate here, but not in this version. We, we just don't have the privilege just yet of meeting one of the ninja pirates. Ugh, it's stupid. It's one of the most advanced enemies in the game, but they don't use it too much in this version. So let's head on up here, the nice little hidden area. Quite a few yellow lums, and there's half of them already. They're, like, flying through this level. It's uh, pretty quick, to be honest. Considering most of it is being pursued by a warship, you have to be on your toes and running a lot of the way. So yeah, it does go a bit quick. And I think that will continue into this section. No, nope, do not want to save. Oh no, this is not the section I was thinking of. Okay, so uh, now we have... Uh, the more kegs. Let's pick up this keg, and I throw at this door. This is a little bit wonky, I find, because it's hard to get the right angle to throw at it. Also, the camera shifts like that. Uh, can I hit from here, maybe? No, that's too high, and it hit the ceiling, and it blew up in my face. Great. Very helpful. I don't know the proper angle for this. It's very precise. If I stand back a bit, maybe... Can I... Uh... Yeah, I can. I can lock on. Well, that didn't really work too well. No, it's the ceiling. How close do I need to be in order to hit this thing? Uh, do I need to be in the room with it? Let's find out. Okay, just th it didn't even aim at the sparrow drop itself, just aimed at the upper corner. And uh, this revealed some red lums. Uh, how many... How many spits? Two left, okay. I think I know where they are. Okay, so this bit right here is teaching us something new we can do with the powder kegs. We pick them up, and then we brush past one of these flaming torches to light the keg on fire, and we now go flying. And uh, that's relevant to a previous level that we visited, but uh, we ha we're going to have to revisit it. Oh! I didn't realise that was crumbling beneath me. Like everyone's still standing on it. Okay, so this is a weird trampoline. I'm sure in other versions of the game it actually gave you some height, but in this version it doesn't seem to do much. Uh, I can I can hardly reach the top top area there. But uh, we can climb up this netting anyway, so there's no need for the trampoline. I don't know why it's there, it's just a weird thing in this version. Also, uh, the camera's a bit deceptive here. Uh, we can't reach the upper ledge, but uh, behind here, if we hover over, there's a hidden platform. You should be able to see that from down below, but for some reason the camera locks into place in that section. Uh, how do I get up there now? Uh, well, maybe it's not as deceptive as I thought. As I thought. If I hit the trampoline from up high, does that bounce me any higher? No, that's a stupid trampoline. Okay. Uh, I'm very confused. I, I'm sure there's meant to be more than, more than that around this corner. Uh, can I actually just jump up and grab it? No. <laughs> Too high. Well, what the hell? I'm a little bit stumped right now. Maybe I'm supposed to use the powder keg? I'm sure that's not that wasn't the case before, but it's gonna be a bit risky. Because uh gotta like gotta like move around this column without crushing into the wall. I've hit the wall. Yep. Well while I'm here, let me grab this yellow lump, <laughs> so I'm not grabbing it later on. Ah, oh, missed it. Ah oh. Shame. Okay, so maybe that's not how you get that. Uh, when you want to drop the keg, press cross button. 
That's not true at all. That, if you press the cross button, you'll throw it into the air. Silly Murphy, there is no drop button. Stop giving me uh, useless tips. Okay, so I can't turn around quick enough. So I aim towards the wall and then, like, really slam on the... Okay. Head up and jump off. And I still took damage from it, but luckily we're up here now. Am I missing something? Is there... Oh, wait, do I just... Wait, hang on. Whoa, 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 what the hell's going on with the platforming there? Slipped off the edge completely. Ugh. Okay, let me... Oh, what the hell? What was different that time? Why is the trampoline suddenly working? What the f... That was super weird. Like, in every every other time I've played through this level, in my test run and stuff, this trampoline has been, like, faulty. It hasn't launched me up to full height. What the hell? I just... Whoa, that was... I don't get it. What's going on there? That's... That shouldn't happen. Why, why is there two levels of bounce? And I missed the yellow line. Ugh, fall off. Just let go. Okay, that just blew my mind right there. I don't understand why it was different that time. Okay, let's head quickly through this section, and... Uh, let's head up here very quickly. There is a... Uh, nothing particularly hidden at the back here. Alright, so this upper ledge is a bit of a strange one um, compared to other versions. There's nothing really here aside from a couple of yellow lums. But in other versions of the game there would be a hole at the back of this corridor that would lead us to a certain section. And that section was in the Fairy's Glade. Um, and it would have a cage that you couldn't access while playing through the Fairy's Glade normally. But in this version, there's nothing there. And that's because uh, the cages we need to get in the Fairy's Glade, uh, we can get just by playing the Fairy's Glade. We don't have to visit it from another from another level. I'm sure this used to be part of a different level as well. I think it was part of the Echoing Caves normally. But uh, no, in this version, it's part of the Precipice. Don't really know why they changed that. Anyway, head on up to the next section. Uh, the Echoing Caves is a level in this game. Uh, we don't have access to it yet, but uh, we did see the signpost for it in the last episode while exploring around the Rainbow Creek. Uh, it's just blocked off by the red laser door, so we can't play the level just yet. Uh, New York don't want to save. Oh, hello, cage, right off the bat. Pick up the keg, and I wonder what we do to break this cage. I quite like this. You th just throw the keg up. That's the only time in the game that you do that, is throw the keg up, and... Yeah, I just quite like it. It's a neat little use for a keg. Uh, we can't go back, can we? It's just black back here. Yeah. I was just checking because, you know, I noticed the door was still still open. I wonder if that's meant to close and that was, that's another, like, glitch thing. Like the trampoline that doesn't bounce me to full height. Don't know why I'm so salty about that, but, yeah. Okay, now we've got a little bit of a treacherous keg flying section. We've got to get a bit low to this, like, green liquid, whatever it is. Okay, hello, green part. Gotcha. <laughs> I, I know I took damage in the process, but, you know... I always, uh, I always do that. It's just fun. To fly the keg into him. Okay, so this is the way we need to go onwards. Uh, there's like a... There's like a gated off area over here. So uh, we need to head back on ourselves. And uh, upon heading back on ourselves, we can see there's a, another trampoline over here with the yellow lum on it. And that also reveals the location of the final familiar spirit. Um, if you're not paying attention to the to the audio cues of the, of the cage going help in the background, then uh, I honestly didn't know where that cage was and I missed it on my test run uh, because it's not completely obvious when you head through here that there's something on your left or a cage hanging from the ceiling. Anyway, hit that switch to open up the gates and then uh, we can use the keg to fly through. Head around and uh, use the keg. And that's the final flying section. Oh, let me make sure to pick up these yellow lumps. It'll be a little bit accurate here because there's several in a line. Don't miss any of them. And let's fly up and grab a hold of this. And I was too low. Whoops. <laughs> Never mind. I'll skip back there. Oh yeah, if you get quite low to the liquid, you start making these splash effects. Just don't go too low or you'll end up in the drink. Whatever it is. I don't know what the drink is. It's limeade, isn't it? Green stuff. Okay, let's head on over here. And uh, we can pick up everything in this level in one run. 
Uh, only got four more yellow lums, and if I recall correctly, they are all over here. And well, that was that was fast. Flying straight into it. Okay, so heading through this little doorway here is the end, where the end of the level will be. Uh, you can see the panel. Uh, we can't adjust the camera here. Oh, funny little thing about this: uh, the camera's fixed, so it gives you this nice like vista with the moon in the background. Though that's a very strange shaped moon. It's like a two D texture, but it's at a weird angle. So yeah, that's a bit strange. But uh, if you head back far enough so that you can adjust the camera and then enter first person and look, you can see where the like blue skybox ends and the black skybox begins. That's uh, really a bit of an oversight, to be honest. Hmm, looks very, very ugly. Just something that I happen to notice. And the, the black skybox is what's up here. Love that. It's like a very flat texture as well. Okay, here's our last yellow lump of the level, and that's actually everything. So uh, where's the teensy? The teensy is this way, and uh, the generator is also down this way as well. Here's the first generator that will open the way to the pirate factory. And I've been foreshadowing his appearance for a, a little while now, since Sanctuary of Stone and Fire, and uh, later, uh, earlier on in this episode. But uh, as soon as we start to shoot the generator, It's a ninja pirate. Here is our first ninja pirate. Or ninjors, whatever you want to call them. And uh, there's not too many in this game. There are a couple that guard the generators. But this is our first time seeing one. And uh, can't get the right angle because Rayman doesn't want to turn around. The generator has its own health bar. Um, I can't see what the, pirate, uh, the ninja pirate's health bar is because it just won't show me. What the? Oh, you have to like... Okay, it's a bit different in this version. You have to lure them into the into the pits of lava, got you. While avoiding being shot, that's a bit that's a bit different. In other versions, you just shot at them. Wait, do I still need to like? No. How do I like lure him? Well, you know, it's kind of weird. I don't know why I'm fighting this guy because if you destroy the generator, he just dis he, he just disappears anyway. So yeah, you shoot him once to get rid of him, and then you can just wail on the generator. And drain his health bar, and then just avoid him. You don't need to bother dealing with him. Also, he's doing way too much health to me. But yeah, just wait on the generator and that gets rid of him. I kind of wanted to like, defeat him normally though, because it feels like a bit of a cheap strategy. How do I like lure him over to the lava pits? It looked like before I just sort of walked into it. Oh, he can shoot the generator as well. I mean, this is a uh, pretty stupid. I'm just walking circles around him and he's not hitting me. But he can shoot the generator himself so I need to be careful that I don't... No, he just teleports around. I can't make him walk into the pits. Well, you know, this seems like a bit of a hassle. I shouldn't be bothering, really. I should just destroy the generator now. Hello, my friend. I see you behind me. Mm, if I deal enough damage to him... No, he just teleports away again. So it's like a weird shadow on the ground. Nope. Yeah, uh, maybe it's a weird texture overlap. I don't know. Would you walk towards me, please? I can't... Uh, how do I force him to move? It's a very tricky boss, but, you know, the solution is to just shoot the generator. You don't need to bother with this guy. But I want to. I want to I want to find out how to defeat them. Uh. Oh, if you get hit while charging a shot, you just lose your charge. Wait, did that generator just have zero health there? I think he shot the generator, but it didn't do anything. I'm not really too fussed about losing all my life, because it's a pretty short level anyway. I don't have to grab any of the lums again. God, he was so close to the lava pit there, I don't get how you're supposed to lure him into them. And I got trapped in the doorway. Great. First, like, proper game over there, but, you know, it's a, it's a weird situation. Okay, it sends us back here, but because we've already broken all the all the cages, don't need to bother with any of that anymore. Let's fly back. That was close. And he drifted straight to that rock sticking out of the... I'm going to call it acid. I don't know what it is, but it's very uh, lethal stuff. I'm sure the pirate guy's back there. Let's hop off. Hey. Okay, it's much better if you let go of the thing, because then you don't take any damage in return. 
Oh yeah, so th uh, this is what we need to do in the in the one section of Mene Hills that we couldn't access before, because we need to use our like fist power up to light a torch, and then we need to use a keg. Rayman, why did you not grab on? I was pushing up against that for. Uh, it gave me ample opportunity to grab on, but what I ah, uh, this level's been weird. This episode. Oh, I need to flip the bloody switch again. Ah! <laughs> We need to light the torch in the Mena Hills with our fiery fist power up, and then uh, light a keg and then fly along. Okay, this time... What? No! What the hell is this? This is... bollocks, right here. <laughs> Honestly, getting a bit frustrated with this level. And it's not... I don't even think it's that difficult. Okay, maybe I'd, I need to stick more to the left side of this thing? I don't know. Okay. Okay, for some reason if you try and grab it on the right side, it doesn't want to grab it, so... Yeah, make sure you stick more to the left. Okay, let's fly, and then just immediately drop off. And you, I can't drop off quick enough for some reason. Okay, this time... Maybe I, I'm just going to ignore the ninja pirate. Because I can't seem to figure out how to lure him into the, into the lava pits, but it doesn't actually matter. Let's just take down the generator, and we can do it, like, really quickly by using a charge shot and then just moving back and forth and shooting and... No, don't knock onto the ninja guy. Just simply just stand at the bars and start shooting. Get shot in the back, but it doesn't matter. Because as soon as I can do this... And... There we go. Done. And then the ninja pirate... Oh! There's some of the laser bars on the pirate factory going down. And the ninja pirate disappears and yeah, that was it. Oh, there's the teensy over there as well, by the way. So now let's head back to the exit portal of the level. So yeah, it's a bit strange that, that I, I'm going to air quotation boss, mini boss there, because it's not really a mini boss. You can just shoot the generator. Uh, it's weird. I, you know, I, it's, they put a strategy to defeat him in, but then you blow up the generator and he just disappears anyway. God, this takes he's taken a while. You can see. Oh, I gotta escort him, haven't I? Ugh. Where are you? Camera, please. Oh, what? Seriously, just, just walk. Just walk through this corridor. It's not difficult. Don't, like, make me wait. F Don't make me wait for you. Jeez. He's standing there again, isn't he? He's not moving. Where's he gone? H hurry up, Jesus Christ. Do I need to, like, escort you? Like, follow you along? <sighs> what an arse this level is. Okay, let's stand on the portal and then let's get warped out of here. Okay, there's one generator down. So now we need to go and find the second one, which is actually in the Echoing Caves. So, But we need to get the ability to do the rain dance in order to get through the red bar door. And I uh, wonder where we get that from. Uh, anyway, we picked up everything in this level, and that's this one of the few levels where you can grab everything uh, in the initial run of it. Uh, do I want to play a bonus game? Uh, I don't think I'm at full health, but the Golden Fist might be nice. Okay, let me get my mashing fingers ready. Or thumbs, I suppose. Okay, just practicing. <laughs> Gotta prepare. This fairy has a gift. Okay, go. I think the course changes occasionally, so sometimes it's longer and you have to do this for a long time. And the route changes. Uh, it reminds me a bit of the Chow races from Sonic Adventure 2. God, it's hard speaking when you're mashing buttons like this. Also, it's probably interfering with the microphone. I think I lost a bit of speed there. I think I might have lost this race actually thinking about it. Using the two finger method now. Hurry up, little man. My god, this is a long course. I don't think my fingers can take much more. <laughs> Come on, come on, hurry, 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 hurry. No, 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 he's one, he's one. No, he tripped, he tripped. Go, 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 go. That was actually kind of kind of intense for just a bonus game. Oh, that actually started to hurt after a while there. Anyway, give me my golden fists. 
even though I'm probably going to lose them immediately. And uh, at least refill my health bar. That'll help. Okay, bonus game done. Let's get out of here. I'm trying to hit start, but the camera is just rotating. Okay, there we go. I do not want to replay that again. Oh. But yeah, I think as you progress through the game, the uh, bonus levels get longer and longer. And, uh, you know, we're not that far from the end of the game, technically. I mean, we're over the halfway point in terms of mass collection. Collection? Collecting. But uh, there's still quite a few familiar spirits that we need to grab in previous areas. And uh, yellow lums as well. Well done, Reman. One more generator and the factory will open. The pirates have imprisoned the baby glow boxes in the mines. Go and free them. Okay, so that's our next objective. We need to head to the pirate mines, which uh, we saw the entrance to in the last episode. And it's uh, down this way, uh, past Lee's cave, and uh, it's on a high ledge through there. And uh, baby glow boxes imprisoned in the mines. I wonder, I wonder where we're going to get the ability to do the rain dance from. Hmm. So uh, we need to head down to the pirate mines, and let's go and free them. But uh, we'll do that in the next episode. I need to watch out for the pipes around here as well. I don't want to lose my golden fists like, right off the bat. No, damn it, I lost one already. Ah! I couldn't shoot over the bars. Oh well, that's a bit of a bit of a shame. A bit of a wasted wasted golden fist there. And the pirate mines are this away. I'm sure we could have done that first, but alas. Now uh, let's head down to the pirate mines. And I'll see you in the next episode where we go and try and free the baby glow boxes. Bye for now.